at Glacier Bear Lodge, about a mile from the airport on the road into Yakutat. Morning, Eric. Good morning, guys. How are you? Doing good. Good. At the airport, the first thing you see is one of the most visible reminders of the World War II era. It's an old hangar that opened for business in 1941, and uh, this was a busy place uh, during those years. And then later in the war, during the, the Lend-Lease program, then there were a lot of flights that were based out of Yakutat and, and stopped here as supplies were being shipped um, over to Russia to keep them in the game, to keep them alive um, during their fight with Germany. Eric Knutson, our captain on the Aerofish, had fine-tuned our location and uh, he knew exactly Brand where we there. wanted to be. He's checking the electronics and he's checking the depth and... and that other $259 he was worried about. Yeah. <laughs> That's a little more. As soon as he had us where he wanted us, he faced the boat in the direction he wanted to troll and then we got the baits out quickly, got him out about 50 feet and running about 20 feet down. Okay, we get these lines set. So the real operation is relatively simple. This lever goes all the way back, thumb on the spool. We'll let these, uh, all these rods go out, so the level winding went across once or twice, three times, and then four times. We're running a, a bit of a zigzag pattern and um, making long loops and, and turns, and things are a little bit slow to start. We're telling stories inside, staying out of the weather, and one of those rods on the deck just gets hammered, and it's pulsing, it's beating, you can see there's a fish on there. And there he is, coming in, swimming right at us. We got out there, got on the stick, and it was fish on, and it was the first fish of about a half a dozen that we were to catch in the next hour. And then after that, things picked up in a big way. And he's in the net, fast. Yes. He, uh, he obviously knew what we were doing here today. Get this one back out? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. How many, how many across? Uh, four. Right, Dad. Yeah. We drove by that fish three times. Another old standby. You want me to crank in a rod?
Based in Yakutat, you can fish for halibut if you've got great weather and, and the conditions are right. Today, we're fishing for salmon because there is a great run of silvers that is staging off the mouth of several rivers right now. Th these huge pods of silver salmon are moving in, getting close to fresh water. Every tide washes hundreds of fish up into the mouths of the rivers and they'll come in and then they'll flow out. Eric, we got a whole bunch of commercial fishermen out here on this fishing the same school of silvers that we're fishing. How are they doing it? They are essentially fishing the same way we are. Um, hot spots and hoochies, flies, different spoons. Yeah. They have uh, the hand trollers, which means you have to crank what's called the girdie. Okay, big old reel. Big reel up by hand. And they can fish two cannonballs, one for each one each yeah. side. Um, they put their gear on about every 10 or 15 feet. Yep. They snap a new lure on, so depending on the depth, that's how much, how many baits they can have in the water at once. Yeah. Uh, the power trollers can fish up to six. Most of them fish four because six gets to be a bit of a tangle when you make a, a sharper turn. So mm -hmm. they stay and, busy with four. And how many crew are in each boat? Usually it, it might be two, most of the time it's one. Mm. Oh, is that so, right? Yeah, yeah. Wow. A lot of cranking. A lot of working hard and paying attention to what's going on. Yep. All right, well, yep, we're paying absolutely. attention here right. too. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. Let's get another one. Looking at this fish here, it's got um, some sea lice on it right here along its tail. On the back. Yep, so a bunch of them on this one. And now once it hits the fresh water, those sea lice are still going to be there, but um, they die right away mm -hmm. in, in that fresh water. Yeah. And so that's why here on this bright fish, they look uh, they look brown colored, but um, in a couple days after they hit the fresh water, they're white. And so that's yeah, and they fall off, they die and fall off. Yeah. yeah. Yep. One good indication of how fresh the fish is. Yeah. Sea lice. Yeah. Doesn't get any fresher than this. And no, no fresher than this. And all the um, all the fish have had sea lice on them that we've caught here. Okay. As we fished, the fish came faster and faster, and Eric moved, and now we're in an area where we could see fish jumping out um, between the boats, and we know we're in them, and they came fast after that. Uh, sometimes one fish right after the other, and then a couple of times we've got two fish on at the same time.
the physical change in their bodies is apparent. We're catching some fish with their scales not firmly set yet, and then we're catching others that are more likely to uh, enter the river sooner. Eric, there's several. There goes Don. Nope. And there goes Dad. <laughs> man, oh man. <laughs> Watch that motor. Oh, that's a pretty fish too. Okay, I'm out. We're out here at the mouth of the bay and we land on this side and we've got the Pacific stretching out to the west, that side. And what happened here, back in the late 30s. This was a sleepy little fishing town, maybe a busy little sleepy fishing town. But when Germany and Russia signed a non-aggression agreement with each other, and then you had Japan on the move, this was a vulnerable spot. And so immediately, the U.S. set to build an installation here to keep watch and um, be the first line of defense if one of the Axis powers were, was to attack. And you can still see the signs, they're all here. And uh, throughout that time, they were watching the water and watching the skies and all those Coast Guard personnel and the Army and the air defense that were here, they ended up having a lot of free time and this was a good place to hunt and a good place to fish back in those days. Yeah. Fish on! Fish might be on that rod. No, no, no. No, we got it. Dad! <laughs> we'll get them both back there at the same spot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he come off? All right. Yes. Ooh, nice. We've got two fish on at the same time. And yeah. we're, we're just trying to keep track, bringing them in, in the boat, battling them on the surface. Oh yeah, <laughs> he was swimming at me. Oh, he's off. 
Okay, drop it down again. Oh yeah, oh man, that's what you want right there. Yeah, it's just. <laughs> the dad just starts getting his line back in the water and a fish just elevated, grabbed that hoochie and just started running with it <laughs> and shaking his head out there. And dad had another fish on before he even knew it. That was a surprise, all right. Didn't even pull the lever down. Drop it in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what can happen. These fish are, are oh, super hot. There. They're, they're real right there. Yeah, he's on. Spicy. Yeah. We gotta do. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. What kind of turn was that? There. Whoa. Get it back. Well, he had some tricks in him, didn't he? <laughs> Eric, we were getting a lot of salmon on the hoochie. Um, what's what's going on here? They, they feeding on a squid out there? No, they're feeding on uh, those little bait minnows. Yes, the, what we saw. Yep. And so what happens is this diver is connected to the rod, and as we troll, the water resistance pushes this down. Pushes that down. Which dives everything. And this is kind of. It's throwing that flash that looks like a school of bait fish. Well, it looks like a it looks like a, a predatory fish. Oh, okay. That Kicks oh, this around, chasing this, okay. And so that gets the attention of another fish, mm -hmm. and they think they're going to be faster, and so they grab that. All right, that's okay, well, that makes sense. So the the more flash, the better. And so we've, we're running four rods out here, and so we've got a lot of flash going on. Yep. Now, this is the uh, same kind of a thing here, using this dipsy diver to, to get the bait down. Mm -hmm. And what do you think we are, about 50 feet? No, we had about 50 feet of line out, so this one was probably running... 25 feet down? Maybe 20 feet down, because okay. with these dipsies, you can set the on the back of them here, this weighted part of it, so it, it changes the angle. So these are actually fishing way out off the side uh -huh, of the boat, so uh -huh. we're covering more water. Yeah, and then this is back there flashing. It's got that black and white contrast, and, and then the nickel plate on the other side, and good, strong, single hook. Yeah, that's a called of, a, a lot coyote of flashback spoon. There. That's a cop car color. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to look like some sort of bait fish. 